Hi, my name is Max. Nice to meet you. And this is the series Meet Max. Get ready for a heartfelt interview with Mark Carter. Mark is one of the owners and presidents of CB Collections, a long-standing accounts receivable management firm based out of Tennessee. He's led that organization pretty much his whole career. Now, Mark joined HFMA in 1982, but it wasn't until 2003 that he put both feet into involvement. And over the following years, he remained committed to being a major supporter and volunteer for the organization in as so much as to complete a full rotation in record time and is the Tennessee Chapters 2012 and 2013 past president and a past HFMA Region 5 regional executive. Other positions that solidify his credibility and revenue cycle are that he was the chairman of the board of Knoxville TVA Employees Credit Union and past president of the Tennessee Collectors Association. Mark feels blessed to have the best wife in the world and four fully grown out of the house children. So now he has more time for hobbies like golf and boating and hunting and almost anything outdoors. And then there's the scuba diving. Meet Mark. My name is Mark Carter. I am one of the owners of CBC. We are a accounts receivable management firm located in Bluntville, Tennessee. Uh, nobody knows where Bluntville is, but basically we're 10 miles south of Bristol Motor Speedway. Oh, okay. And um, <clears throat> I joined HFMA back in 19... 82, so I'm a little seasoned. Uh, I didn't get much uh, involvement with it until uh, 2003. That's when I decided to take the step and uh, actually Guy Smith, who's the chair of this institute right now, uh, encouraged me to get involved with the member services committee and so I worked with him for a couple years and then we switched roles. He wasn't ready to progress through the uh, leadership, and so uh, <clears throat> I became member services chair, and next thing I know, I missed a board meeting, and next thing I know, I'm in, you know, they nominated me for, you know, some crazy role, I forget what it was, it's been you so long. And now, yeah, I got put in a rotation, <laughs> and... Yeah, you did it, uh, teach you not to miss any more meetings. Yeah, right, and so, uh, as time progressed, it, it was kind of crazy. It was, I probably have the shortest track to become president based on uh, circumstances. I was VP my first year, it's a two year role. And at the end of my first year, the president elect, who was just elected in January for June takeover, changed jobs and his employer denied him the opportunity, so they needed somebody to step up, so I said, okay, I'll take it. So I skipped a year there. Then as the, soon as I was president-elect, the uh, president told me that she had breast cancer and she was going to be very busy with dealing with that. So I said, okay. So I was kind of like, I wasn't acting president, but I was close. So well, I, when I came president, I was ready because I had a year of seasoning. Uh, but. I can't say enough about HFMA. Um, the, the professional contacts, the professional growth, the personal growth that you get from putting yourself, surrounding yourself with great people. And you know, you think you know a lot until you get involved with this group, you realize how much you don't know. And you, you have so many opportunities, you just can't say enough words about it. The presidential track was incredible because of the two years I spent with the president and president-elects. Those are my lifelong friends all around the South. And with then I transitioned uh, just a few years ago into the RE role, regional exec. And that was again another extension of the same quality environment, exposure to people all around the country. And now I have you know, the same relationships with folks from East Coast to the West Coast because we all breathe, sleep, eat, sleep, and breathe HFMA. It's, it, it, my spouse is real supportive of me. She, she sees the passion that I have for this, and it's, it, it's family. I don't, I'm not going to cry, but it's family. And uh, I'd recommend anybody 
get involved, you won't regret it. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Man. How's that? <laughs> Man, that's gonna give you a hug for that. That was awesome. My wow. heart felt, man. That does. That was. That's gonna. That's gonna win some awards right there. Some things of interest. One, uh, I was very fortunate and blessed by the Lord uh, to have. I ran out of air scuba diving at 115 feet and lost my partner. And through the grace of God, I made it back to the surface, got my extra tank, and went down and sucked the air out. Uh, just through the grace of God. That's all I can say. It was, it, it was a life changer to me. Um, Hobby-wise, most things outdoors. I love to play golf. Uh, I love to boat. I used to ski, but you know those days are behind me now. Uh, but love to boat around and just being on the water. Uh, like to hike. Uh, I like to hunt, yeah. And uh, I don't fish, but I should, but I don't, but you know, the, being on the water all the time. Um, and I love uh, Tennessee sports, go Vols, uh, especially to the football and basketball teams, and now the baseball, of course, because they're number one in the country. Uh, and I just love people, just being out with people, and I'm not afraid to try something new. I, you know, it, at my age, I've seen a lot and done a lot, but that doesn't mean that I can't see more and do more. And it's, it's, that's how life is. It's, it's, it's a continual growth. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah.